What's up, people? This is Samurai Big Pie, and welcome to Tech Adventures episode 19. So, the reason we haven't filmed in a couple days is, well, this thing. So, yeah. Um, before I put this time in and show you guys what's going on, uh, basically, we've been setting this thing up. And if you're looking, you guys are like what? Look at all that mushroom soup, and just look at the look at the condenser. Just look at the condenser. That that's just insane. I mean, who who can get free diamonds like that? I mean, and the best part is, look at this. The bowls go in, and a condenser makes the bowls. I mean, how cool is that? Once it's full, it brings it more to f fuel it, and then once it's full, the other ones will go back to the diamonds. And oh my gosh. So we pretty much confined them to one spot instead of two spaces. And yeah, this thing works pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is put a diamond in here, and it's going to overload it. So now it's got 7,000 and ex so much extra, it's not even funny. And then basically what's going to happen is no more bowls are going to come in here for a very, very long time. And it's always going to keep it so. Yeah, it's always going to keep it ready, and it's always going to be pumping EMC into it. So let's go show you. Uh, one second. So basically, the way it's made is, uh, oh gosh, well, you need two timers, two levers to turn it on and off. They are separate. Uh, pneumatic tubes, which we'll show you once we get back to the house how those are made, because those require an alloy furnace. Basically, you got to hook it all up. You need two transposers. You got to face the transposers so the uh, output uh, faces the pneumatic tubes. The input faces the deployer. Same with the other one, only it's backwards. Stupid chicken. So the uh, m so yeah. The other one, uh, the chest is the input, so it's going to put the bowls in the transposer, and the transposer's output is going to be into the deployer, putting the empty bowls in the deployer. The deployer is going to milk, I guess, or soup the cow. Yeah, it's going to soup the cow. And then it's the output is going to drop it into the Mac tubes, and it's going. Ooh, snaps. And then the pneumatic tubes are going to split it off right here. And like 99% of them are going to go right into here. Make us some diamonds, which this has only been going on for about 10 minutes. We're going to get like 9 diamonds, which is insane. And then every once in a while, some will go off left, make some more bowls. And then e each one makes about 10 bowls. So what it's going to do is it's going to send 3 down to the left condenser. And uh, one will go in, and the other two will bounce out, and it's going to do that pretty much forever once we start getting low on EMC in here. But anyways, this thing, it's pretty much self-running. I don't even have to do anything. As long as this place is loaded, there, there's nothing to worry about. So let me see if I have some more chunk loader blocks. Do I? Alright, looks like they might be at base. I don't know. We'll see. Aha, six of them. Whoop. Just refill my. Yeah, we used. Uh, my client star. We used tons of EMC flying around and trying to figure this thing out. That's why we haven't recorded in a while. It took. Oh my gosh, don't get me started. We had a test world. We've been in the test world for about four hours, and then we got here, and we're like, all right, we got this, guys. And uh, no, this guy stopped working. What did I break? Oh, I broke off some redstone wiring. Okay. Fruby mistake. It's all good. We'll live. I this should be working now. Yeah, there we go. Back to normal. Cool. We're good. I think, right? Yep, cool. Alrighty. So wow, see? And that entire time I was talking to you guys, I already got like three diamonds. I mean, you, who if you can say that's not cool and you're being serious, then I'll give you a cookie, but no. That that's just too cool. Alright, so basically the other thing we had to make for the red uh, alloy wiring and the pneumatic tubes was the alloy furnace.
What it's done is it's made out of bricks. Eight bricks in the shape of a furnace, and you get the alloy furnace. The alloy furnace has an interface just like a crafting table, only it's pretty much a furnace and a crafting table combined. So I'm going to show you real quick how you make brass. It's three copper, one tin, and some coal, but yeah. Let me see if I have any. Oh, drat. Here's a piece of charcoal, just for fun. And then you fill this guy up, and then he's going to craft it all up. It's just like bronze, only you put it in the alloy furnace, and then it's going to give you brass. From there, we get um, glass, and you make it just like any other pipe. Glass in the middle, brass on the side to get pneumatic tubes. There we go. And I'm going to craft up two more of these, just because they're good, and I'll use them in the future. There we go more pneumatic tubes. We made tons of those, by the way. Uh, the next thing was the red alloy wiring. And now, let me show you how to make that in a second here. As you can see, it's four redstone, one copper makes a, uh, red alloy ingot, and then three of those in a line will make your wiring. As you can see here. It's three in any shape. You can use pretty much any um, metal, I think, with four redstone to get that, but yeah. Then you just place them in a column like that, and there you go. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so th this really feels like it's been quite a few hours, but uh, yeah, that took us forever to make, and we've been doing test worlds, then we had some issues in this world, and unloaded, and uh, don't get me started, guys, it took forever to make, and we're probably going to have tons of stuff just stacking up, and oh wow, look at that, tons of stuff just chilling in here waiting for us. But yeah, that's why we haven't filmed in a while, but yeah, now we're back, and uh, yeah. Got our new recording system as of episode 18, and you know we're 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 just going along. We're up to about 200 views now, which you know I I consider 20 of those are mine just for editing the videos and uh, information and tags and stuff like that. So you know about 180 views. Um, not bad, not bad. Honestly, it's really good. It's nothing like what I expected. But what can you say? We've been doing this for what maybe a week. I'm not complaining in any way, shape, or form. And we got four subscribers, which is the best part. We love you all. So yeah, th this thing, oh gosh, it was so complicated to make. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, walk around it real quickly, just to show you guys how it's done. So the transposers to the deployer. The deployer will get a bowl from the. You don't have to have this this automatic system where it makes you know the second condenser and then the third transposer and chest is all optional. You can just have a chest and just load it with bowls from a condenser or something, and then just leave it be. An alchemical chest full of them will take you about what 40 minutes. I mean, it uses what a bowl every. Five, five bowls a second, uh, what is that, so it's approximately, let's say, 65, oh gosh, what is that, 180, oh, don't get me started, guys, I, yeah, no, I don't want math. But yeah, point is, it's a lot of, um, it'll take you a long time. Um, that'll last you quite a while. So you can do that, and it may, it is well worth it, trust me. Well, well worth it. This guy is just chugging along, but he stopped for some reason. So what seems to be the problem? Oh no, we're out of energy. Uh-oh. Is this guy not working? 
Oh, we're out of energy in the client star. How much you want to bet? Ah. You think I've done this before? Ha, ha, ha. Alrighty, well, it looks like it, it's time to go grab a diamond or two from here. He, 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 he. Or a, you know. But as you can see, it's almost doubled since I started the video, so that's going to be a huge money maker. All right, let's go reload this guy, and then our energy should be pumping right back up. There we go. All right, we're back in business. Yep, we're good. Pump them up to 2.5 seconds. There we go. Cool. I don't know why I broke that glass. All right, we have more glass. It's all good. Cool. So this should be working again. Why do we have tons of cobblestone just chilling right there, huh? All right, let's load this guy up. Make it go faster. How's our mass fabricator? Oh, nice. Three. Why does our compressor have it? Oh, and our induction. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow, and we got stuff in the mass rate or two. Wow. Wow. We're just never going to finish having issues with this, are we? There we go. That should do the trick. Whoops. There. Okay, now we're good. Take those guys out. Slow. Oh, gosh. Ooh, nice. Let's take that uh, the matter out. Yep, you, you matter. And honestly, I think we can make... Uh, what can we make? Yeah, but let me let me open up my uh, alchem chemical bag real quick. Ah, uh, it looks like we need one more UU matter before we can make something. Darn it. So yeah, we used a lot of our resources to get that. So let me go grab my good old black hole band and harvest up my pumpkins. Yeah, I mean, making all the um, the transposers, the deployers, hooking up those condensers and the piping, making the alloy furnace, which wasn't too bad. It was only like a thousand EMC to make that, but... Oh gosh, like it, the time it took to make all that. Oh, don't get me started, guys. Um, if if it wasn't clear on how to make it, which I thought it was pretty good, but that that is me we're talking about, so I don't know. But if it's not clear on how to make it, someone leave me a comment, and then we'll probably make a video specifically on how to do it, considering there are none on YouTube right now, except for this one. And we'll just make like a plain walkthrough video on how to make it, if that's something you guys would be interested in. And then also, we need some ideas, people. We want to do some big thing for episode 25, but I have no idea what. This is episode 19, I think. Yeah, it is. So we're getting close to 25, but I'm not too sure what we want to do for that. We're not we're not exactly hurting for resources, we just use it all. But we're not exactly good on resources either. We need some more hummus, don't we? Yep. Now remember the uh hummus recipe was um dirt surrounding fertilizer and fertilizer is made fertilizer is made with appetite uh surrounded by sand. Which is a ton. So we need a ton of dirt too. 
And let's go get a diamond's worth of dirt. Just kidding. A diamond would, like, fill up our inventory. But yeah, that guy just, he's just going to make so much EMC. Like, that guy, once we start getting some... I think the only thing that'll make EMC faster than him is there's a tree farm that we're going to want to make as well once we start getting up there with red matter. First thing we're going to make is a red matter axe. But, um, and then it's going to basically be an automatic tree farm. It's going to have uh, two deployers. It's going to place this, uh, one deployer is going to place the sapling. One's going to uh, place the bone meal uh, 0.5 second, 0 0.05 seconds after it. And then um, the um, there's going to be a third deployer with the red matter axe and a client star again, and then it's going to chop down. It's going to be fully charged. So it's going to chop the tree, and then there'll be a alchemical chest with a um, with our black hole band in it. And uh, yeah, that guy will make tons of EMC as well. So we got a couple ideas for automatic EMC. But, yeah, I mean, we're not hurting yet, but we're not good either, because we use most of it. So I probably will go mining in between this next episode, 19 and 20. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. We'll see. Let me store this extra hummus in that chest. That's another refill worth. It's not like it's hurting for hummus or anything. So also something else we were thinking is we got ton. Well, right now we're gonna have tons of EMC going. So why don't we like? My idea was to make a house or something like a fortress and have it surrounded with like make it like almost a robotic fortress where it uh, defends itself. If that makes any sense. Like if someone comes near it. It'll, um, it'll, like, shoot at him, um, to say the least. My idea was using the dark matter pedestals with, uh, not Swift or Neo, but Archangel Smite. And that guy, he'll summon arrows and shoot it so no mobs will get any near us. Uh, dispensers with some of the, um, Vulcan's weapons mod stuff works pretty well as well. Uh, I've tried that in the test world and I was having fun. I tortured that poor, poor nether dragon. I made like a huge wall of dispensers hooked up to one uh, fully automated system with tons and tons of redstone and um, a lever. And then I just put like crossbow bolts in it with, um, oh no, we're out of the fiber cable. Oh snaps, that's not going to be good. Please say we have some more. That's the Ch Bulkins Weapons mod. Um, oh, good, we have some. What was I ranting on about? Oh, yeah. And then, so, like, crossbow bolts and some uh, poison darts, or... I don't even know. We could... I haven't even tried it with cannonballs yet. That'd be really tight if you could do that. Um, TNT, I know, and dynamite you can throw with those things. Not actual TNT, but dynamite. Um, there, I mean, the possibilities for making like a fortress that defends itself is endless. I mean, we can make it use the Vulcanite amulet and like surround it with a mode of lava, and then make it rain or make it sunny again. I mean, once we have tons and tons of EMC, we're going to be doing cool stuff like that. Like you guys don't even know, we're such smart little children. Just kidding. Well, actually, we are, but, uh, yeah. We're not, we don't pretend to be, like, super smart, but we're, we're decent with this, and we just have so many cool plans we want to do with this. I mean, that fortress is going to be a really, really, really cool thing. Uh, we can do force field generators, probably, and make it look like there's an ice blocking it. Someone will shoot at it, and, oh, no, it's bedrock. Uh, like, you don't even know, guys. It's so cool. And the mercurial eye is something we might be looking at, too. Nah. I don't know. It's pretty darn expensive. We haven't had a red matter yet, have we? Do we have 25 diamonds? Let's find out. 
Ba ba ba, ah, 18. Close. But I bet you anything, if we check our uh, equivalent exchange room, we'll have just enough. Plus, we have a fully charged client star down in the geothermal, and we have uh, this guy who's pretty darn full. So yeah, we should be able to get our first piece of red matter. So we need a dark matter and eight eternalist fuel. Fun. Bazinga. We actually had more. Drum roll, please. Ba -ba Red batter. Teach him to our transmutation table. Ba -ba wow. Alrighty. Alrighty, so, oh, there we go. Our last UU matter. Let's grab those guys. UU matter. So, uh, quite a while ago, we started looking at making the quantum armor. UU matter can be used to make a lot of different things. Like, don't, I don't even know why, what the point of this is, but I don't know. Anyways, the main formula we want is, uh, that iridium ore. And now, remember, that was 7 UU matter. And now, just for the helmet of the quantum armor, let's look up the quantum stuff. Let's, let's look at the boots, for starts. It requires two iridium plates, and each iridium plate is... Drum roll, please. Four iridium ore. Like, really? Four iridium ore. So that's 7, 14, 21, 28 for each plate. So that's a total of 56 just for the feet. This one will be 116, 58. Oh, don't get me started, guys. It's so much UU matter. I'm, we might even make a second one. I don't know. Alrighty, well, pretty much we're going to have to go mining, and we're going to have to do a lot more work, and yeah. Basically, right now, what we're going to work on is starting to get a lot more of those automatic EMC things like that uh, cow farm we just got. And we did find out in a test world by spawning some mushrooms that you can breed them. So we may just grab a fully charged client star and just zap a cow thousands of billions of times till we get another mushroom and then um, take the mushroom and uh, breed those two, get some baby mushrooms, and set up some more of those automatic milker things. And then place those in one condenser, and have another condenser set up to do it automatic bowls, and it would be times two fully automatic, and you know, oh my gosh, it would just be insane. But another thing we want to do is we're going to make our tree cutting down as well. But yeah, that's probably the next episode. So, anyways, guys. Oh, darn, we just missed him. Oh, well. Let's zap him a couple times. Just for fun. Meh, no luck. Yet. Alright, well, guys. This has been Tech Adventures episode 19 with Samurai Baked Pie, and I'll catch you guys next time. And remember, we are going mining, so we get some more resources so we can do some more cool stuff. Alrighty, catch you guys next time.